Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking, and we're doing another grammar video. But this time it's going to be a little bit simpler. I'll tell you why, because it's just punctuation. Okay, so it's not going to be that much simpler, but it's still going to be simple. Because there, are, okay, I've classified punctuation basically into two separate parts. There's finalization punctuation and continuation punctuation. Finalization punctuation would be the punctuation that ends a sentence. So, period, question mark, and exclamation point. That's it. That's all that's in that one. And I'm pretty sure you know what that means. But, okay, refresher course. Periods. Just end a sentence. That's all they do. That's all they do. They just stop. Question mark is for a question. Duh. An exclamation mark for an exclamation. Okay, that was for you idiots out there. Do you know what I understand? Okay. Continuation punctuation is a little more complicated. It's the, it's the comma, semicolon, colon, and hyphen. Those... Yeah, we're not going to be counting an apostrophe as punctuation itself for this video because it's just used for contractions and sometimes for, um, um, uh, um, possessive, uh, I don't know the word. I'm, I'm very good at teaching grammar because I don't know the words or the grammar words. Okay, we're not going to use apostrophes, we're just going to leave it at that. So, a comma is just, it's whenever you have a pause in a sentence, you would use a comma. It's hard to explain without using an example. I'll put it up an example right here. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be here, so... It'll make sense. Just read the sentence out loud and see why that would make sense. It's hard to explain. I don't know why, but, like... Whenever you have a pause, a, a, like, a spot for breath, or just a pause in a sentence, it's when you would use a comma. Just any time when there. Or during lists. Whenever you're listing anything, so, like, what I just did now, finalization punctuation is a period, question mark, and exclamation point. I would put a comma in between all of those things to distinguish between them. Let's segue right into the next one with a semicolon, because that can be used in lists as well. If you are listing something, and the list involves a very long section of the list, because when you're making a... a, a when you're making a long list, Sometimes you will have some things in the list that are really long things, and you might have a comma within the list spot, if that makes sense. If you're listing something, and you have this specifically long thing that's in the list, there might be a comma in the thing in the list, so before you would put that, you would put a semicolon instead of a comma. So, when you're listing, you list this, 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 and that you would have four commas, because this, 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 and that. There's, there's a bit of controversy with um, the Oxford comma, if you haven't heard of that. It's whenever you're making a list, then the last thing that you do before you say and this, like this, 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 and this. Some people use the Oxford comma and put a, uh, a comma after the second last one. So this, comma, this, comma, this, comma, and this. But some people don't do that. They just chop off that last comma because who cares about that thing? I personally don't like using the Oxford comma unless it's in a specific circumstance, but everybody do what you want because I can not control your life because it's freaking punctuation, deal with it. Back to the semicolon. It can also be used as a replacement for a period or the ending of a sentence. You can use it to, um, if there's two sentences, you can sometimes put a semicolon in between the two sentences to continue it on without actually ending the sentence. It'd be like ending the sentence. You put a semicolon where there would be an ending to the sentence, but you don't actually end it. It's really complicated. Punctuation is harder than I thought. I don't know why I said this was going to be easy. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is actually going to be a two-part video because I'm going to be doing basic punctuation in this video and more special punctuation in the next video. I'll explain which special punctuation I'll be using then and not now, because I don't care enough right now. Now, a colon is another type of punctuation. It looks like this. I've been forgetting to put up what they look like. I'm sure I'll do that in editing. I mean, I hope so. I hope, yeah. I'll just put that in editing. Future me, do that. Do that thing. Go back and put them in the thing. Thanks. Now, colons go hand in hand with um, commas and semicolons at some points, because they're Colons are generally used at the start of a don't you dare. My cat's being disruptive. I'm gonna scare him away. That's what 
what you get for interrupting my grammar lesson, you stupid mammal. So colons! <coughs> Excuse my hacking and coughing, I have a cold and it sucks! So colons, they're used at the start of lists. Whenever you're listing, sometimes, not always, but sometimes whenever you want to make a list of things, you put a colon at the beginning of the list describing what you're going to be listing. It's hard to explain, but I'm hoping that makes sense because I don't know how else to explain it. There are other instances where you use colons, but I can't think of them because I'm dumb. I'm the best teacher. The last punctuation that I... The last punctuation that I'm going to be discussing today is the hyphen. Hyphen is just a line. It's not used very often, but it's it's usually for phrases, like words that that link together, like free for all or things like that. Anything that's <sighs> thought I could see my breath for a second. Anything that's like a a generic phrase used that's more than one word, you know, like free for all or um, uh, I had a whole list of them in my head and they flew away. I can't think of any others because my brain is not working for some reason. You know what I mean though, anything that's a phrase that's used like that. You would put hyphens in between each of the words so that it makes more sense. Also, for Spider-Man, it's not one word, it's not two words, it's hyphenated. Do not question my Marvel knowledge. Okay, so that was the first part of punctuation. This was enlightening, I hope. So, don't do this wrong. Use these. Use the punctuation where they're supposed to be used. Do not be dumb. Use it properly. If you are dumb, I will hunt you down. And then I will troll you horribly from my grammar police page. Which you can find right here! I think. I don't know if I can do that. Anyway, that was my, that was my attempt at a segue. If, okay, if it's not right here, then I'm just gonna put- Okay, there's gonna be a link in the description for my grammar police page. If you want to go check that out, it'll be there. I'll post some videos of my grammar videos on there. There's also a bunch of other rules that you can figure out. I'll probably be making videos for those rules. I just don't know when. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, everyone.